Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting errors as the registry refers to a non existent Java runtime environment. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu. Just off on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R E G E D I T. Best match should come back for regedit. You want to right click on that. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now you want to go create a backup of your registry so if anything goes wrong, you can always import the backed up one. So in order to create a backup of your registry, just go up to the file tab at the top, left click one time, left click on export. At this point you will save the file somewhere on your computer. You can select the destination and then you just would left click on save. You want to make sure export range is selected to all. And if you ever made a mistake you need to import back the backup one, just go up to file and then import and then you just would go ahead and select it from your computer. So once you've already created a backup you just want to go ahead and expand the H key local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. Then you want to do the same thing for software. And now you want to go ahead and locate the JavaSoft folder. You just want to left click on the folder one time and then just delete. So right click on it and then left click on delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its subkeys? Left click on yes. Again, that was the JavaSoft key. You can close out the registry editor. Restart your computer. Now once you've restarted your computer, you want to go ahead and open up your internet web browser and then into Google you want to just type in Java download and you want to search that up and the best matches should be for Java.com download free Java software so you just want to select that now you want to select free Java download on this page And once the file has been downloaded to our computer, you just want to open up the installer, get a user account control prompt up, and left click on yes. I want to go ahead and left click on install here. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. and it should say you've successfully installed Java. So left click on close, restart your computer, and you should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.